this is a seismic upgrade of the filters at San Geronimo and Bon Tempe treatment plants. What that means is that we're addressing seismic vulnerabilities in the existing structures of the filters. During an earthquake, there may be a need to fight fires. We certainly need to continue to supply folks with drinking water. The outcome of this project will ensure that our filtration is available within 24 hours after a major earthquake. My name is Paul Sellier. I'm a senior engineer with Marin Municipal Water District. I've worked at the Water District for about 15 years now. Today we're here at San Geronimo Treatment Plant in the Filter Control Gallery. And as you can see, we're working on the Filter Seismic Upgrade Project. We started looking at the treatment plants with a long-term view. The treatment plants were built in the 1950s and they were about 50 years old. And we wanted to make sure that our investments in those treatment plants were directed in the most sensible way. We looked at the treatment plants primarily to see how long we could make them last. Couldn't we make them last another 50 years? Or do we have to build brand new treatment facilities for Marin to continue to receive drinking water? And through the master planning process, what we found was plants that were constructed in the 1950s required seismic updates. And we're here today at San Geronimo Treatment Plant looking at a particular project that addresses seismic vulnerabilities in the filtration system at the treatment plant. San Geronimo receives its water from either Nicasio Reservoir, which would occur mostly in the summertime, and in the wintertime we get our water from Kent Reservoir. Kent is one of our most beautiful reservoirs, but not only is it in a picturesque setting, it also has fantastic water quality, and it, it maintains that water quality year-round. When the treatment plants were built, there was no requirement to treat water. There was no Safe Drinking Water Act. That didn't occur until 1976. Prior to the treatment plants, people just drank lake water. Today, water is coming to us from Kent Lake, and as it comes in from Kent Lake through a 33-inch pipeline about two and a half miles away from the treatment plant, it first enters the treatment plant and goes into our clarifiers. The clarifiers essentially act to settle out particulate matter, and about 80% of the particulate matter that's suspended in the water is removed in our clarifiers. From the clarifiers, the water goes into our filters, which are sand and charcoal filters, and those remove the remaining particulate matter. At that point, the water is disinfected and placed into our clear wells where it can be pumped to our customers. San Geronimo Treatment Plant is designed to produce 35 million gallons a day. Typically, in the wintertime, it will produce between six and nine million gallons of drinking water a day. And during the summertime, that production ramps up to uh, maybe 25 million gallons a day. It's critical that we continue to invest in our infrastructure. Investing in today's infrastructure is much more fiscally responsible than choosing to build new infrastructure at a slightly later date. Deferring maintenance costs ends up in being really expensive in replacing facilities as opposed to addressing lesser vulnerabilities. Here at San Geronimo Treatment Plant, we evaluated the old filter structures, the concrete walls that form the filter basins, and discovered that those walls would not be strong enough in a major earthquake and that we could be without water production for some period of time. So what we've done here is to address that vulnerability by thickening the walls, by adding layers of concrete and steel to the existing filters. The master plan for the treatment plants indicated that there was approximately $60 million worth of capital projects that we should conduct at the treatment plants over the next 20 years. And to give you an idea, to replace a treatment plant like San Geronimo today, not only would the permitting be incredibly difficult, but the cost might be 10 times that. This project is a significant project for Marin Municipal Water District, certainly larger than most of our normal capital projects. The total budget for this project was about $7 million. At this point, everything looks really good in terms of budget. We anticipate when you go into a large project like this where you're essentially remodeling an old facility that you're going to encounter some unexpected circumstances. And so we've made allowances in our budgeting process for that. At this point, we've really not encountered anything substantial and the total changes to this point are about 0.77% of the project budget.
The project duration will be about 11 months. We're about three months in now and the contractor appears to be right on schedule. Everything is going well. The outcome of this project will ensure the reliability and availability of drinking water within 24 hours of a major earthquake.